guys, it's Megan. I've been asked to show how I make my potatoes au gratin. Um, and so, here it is. This is the video. <laughs> um, I just have a few things I put in this uh, one uh, oven safe bowl. Um, I've rehydrated some scallions. I have rehydrated some potato slices. I have mm, about a half a cup of queso blanco. You can use whatever cheese you want. I have about a cup of shredded uh, cheddar cheese, I think it is. Yeah, whatever, some cheese. Um, so that's about a cup. Uh, I have a little cooking spray, which I sprayed the inside of my pan with because I don't want the potatoes sticking. And I have rehydrated some onions. So this is all a mess right now because uh, I always forget to, to record and I just thought about it as I was throwing the potatoes in. So what I want to do really quick is I throw the potatoes in. See, they're shredded. They're rehydrated nicely. This is going to take 5 or 10 minutes to cook. It's probably, I mean, what you're doing is just heating it through. I also have some shelf-stable whipping cream um, that I always keep on my shelf. I have like six cases of this stuff since I heard about it um, from Cat's Cradle, I think she was talking about the shelf-stable whipping cream. Either Cat's Cradle or um, uh, Noreen from the Atticus 9799, um, I think. Uh, and I always keep these. These are good if you want to whip up some whip topping. They're not uh, sugary. You have to add the sugar so they're not flavored. It's just whipping cream. And it's shelf stable so it stays on the shelf for years. Um, I can't remember what site I got that from. But if you look up shelf stable whipping cream on Amazon it will tell you. Oh, uh, it's by Gosner Foods. But I got this one at some camping website or something i can't remember so i'm going to mix uh, this with a little salt and pepper and then i'm going to layer my um onions potatoes and uh cheese and then i'm going to add the whipping cream and a half a cup of milk and uh salt and pepper and um Pour it over the potatoes, the onions, and the scallions. And then I'm going to top that with some queso blanco and put it in the oven. And in half an hour, we'll be eating. Okay? Uh, I'll come back when I have it all in the bowl. So here's my first layer. And I don't do much. I just make sure that the potatoes are down even enough so that everything cooks evenly. I throw some scallion in there. Um... And then I go ahead and after I put that layer, I go ahead and I layer more potatoes in. Um, doesn't have to be pretty, folks. It just has to be edible. <laughs> um, and I throw in some more potatoes to cover. Uh, and I'll just pop some in there. So it's all nice and even. Uh, I'll throw in some onions. go. I hope you can see that I'm doing this one-handed here. Some onions. And again, these are my rehydrated onions. I got them out of steel. 88 cents for a pound of onions or, or five pounds of onions. No, five pounds for 88 cents. And that was during the holiday. Um, so uh, I dehydrated gallons and gallons. I have like number 10 cans full of Empty number one, number ten cans full of uh, dehydrated onions that I hydrated, dehydrated myself, um, and that should last me ye like a year, you know, a couple, couple months, nine, ten months till the next sale. Sale, um, and the potatoes too. I got five pounds for, I think a dollar ninety nine, um, and that's why I bought, I bought forty pounds. <laughs> um, so, and I canned some, I dehydrated some, I sliced and dehydrated some, I shredded and dehydrated some, 
um, I froze some so um, and there goes my next my last layer of potato uh, and this feeds about six people I feed about six to eight people um, with this you know because it's a tall it's kind of layered so you know if you split this in six it'll be some six good portions um, so there you go those are all the potatoes okay all the potatoes and now I'm going to mix the uh, white sauce and uh, pour it on so here's the au gratin I've just taken it out I've given it a stir um, I noticed there is a little more liquid in there than I would like so I'm going to put it back in uncovered um, and then when I feel it's done enough I will go ahead and cover it with some more cheddar cheese okay so here's my old gratin and uh, I've added a little more cheese to it it's nice and warm I'm going to cover it with the lid and let it sit for a little while and it will be chewy and gooey and yummy goodness by the time I'm ready to serve dinner I'll show you what a plate looks like. So here it is, guys. Here's the plate. My potatoes au gratin and some fried pork tenderloin. And like I said, this would feel, feed six people comfortably. Um, this is the plate we have. We have some salad on the side. Um, and here are my cookies. Bye.